Sometimes in Blender, you want a scene with a whole bunch of cables, ropes, or hoses. Manually placing these curves by hand can be a pain. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly draw curves in your scene. Then I'll show you how to animate the growth of a curve so you can make something like this. First, add a Bezier curve to your scene. Enter edit mode, select all of your vertices, and press X to delete them. Now select the draw curve tool from the tool shelf. Be careful not to confuse it with the annotate tool because they do look pretty similar. Before you start drawing, Press N to open the sidebar and click on the Tool menu tab. The type of curve I find most useful is the default Bezier, but you can select Poly, which will allow you to draw a series of connected vertices. Go down to the Depth setting. When it's set to Cursor, it will draw the curve at the depth of your 3D cursor. But if you want it to stick to the sides and surfaces of objects, select Surface. Now we can draw, and it will create a curve wherever we draw. Notice it goes over the objects, but not quite perfectly. I have found something that helps. Before you draw your curve, go into the curve data panel again, increase the bevel depth to about how thick you'll want the cable, hose, or whatever it is you're modeling. In the tool settings, change the offset to one. Now when we draw, the tool offsets the curve to whatever our bevel depth is. It may not be perfect, but this is a lot better. You can switch to your select tool and manually adjust points in edit mode if you need to. If you start drawing after you stop, it will create a new and unattached segment of the curve, but it will be part of the same object. Unfortunately, you cannot use this feature to draw a continuation of your previous segment. You see that with this tool, you can draw a lot of curves and you can draw them very fast. Side note, there's a really cool add-on called Cable Raider. It lets you do a lot of things really fast to make and connect different types of cables. It's not free, it currently costs $12 on Blender Market. I'm not affiliated with it in any way, but I have used it and it's a very valuable tool if you plan on using curves to make a whole bunch of cables in your scene. I'll put a link in the description. Let's use the Draw Curve tool to draw the growing vines I showed you at the beginning of the video. I'll start with a new file so that we can review the steps. Start with these two planes. Add a Bezier curve, tab, select, delete vertices, Select the Draw Curve tool. Increase our bevel depth in the Curves data panel. Under Tool Settings, change depth from Cursor to Surface. And now let's draw the first portion of our vines, being sure to go from the bottom to the top. That's one object. Let's repeat the process for a new curve object and draw smaller vines extruding away from the first ones. Again, draw from where they begin to grow to where they will stop growing. I will make these have a slightly smaller bevel. And let's do it a third time to add even more vines and make them a little bit smaller. Select the largest vines and go back to your curve data panel. Under Geometry, find the Start and End Mapping section and expand it. This Factor, Start, and End is what we're gonna to use to animate the growth of the curves. We are gonna use keyframe animation here. If you need to learn the basics of keyframe animation, I'll put a link to a video I did on it in the description and also at the end of this video. Go to the frame where you want the growth of the vine to begin. Change the factor end to zero and insert a keyframe. Then go to the frame where you want the growth to stop, change the factor end back to one and insert another keyframe. We've just animated the growth of our first vine. Repeat this for all three levels of the vine and offset their start and stop times in the timeline appropriately. I'll add a taper to this vine. Explaining the taper will probably have to be for another video because it can be a little confusing. I'll quickly add some materials and here we go. So we've covered the draw curve tool, and we've also shown how to animate the start and stop of the growth. I hope something in here was valuable. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much.